What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kai. I do all types of lifestyle videos, which includes resets. I used to actually do like monthly resets, but I just felt like it got really like repetitive and I just like wasn't enjoying doing that. So I started doing quarterly resets just because I felt like, for example, for my goals, that was just a lot more better to like kind of group them together, have some time to work on them and all that stuff. Also with like my finances, it gave me more time to like look over my finances and all of that stuff. So I wanted just to do my quarterly reset. Usually again, like I do them by quarter. So I'm gonna look over January, February, and March, see how these few months went and all of that fun stuff. So hopefully you guys stick around. I don't wanna take too long. Let's get into this. These last few months have been actually kind of fun. Again, my birthday's in March. I was like honestly in pre-birthday mode by the mid February I was just having so much fun one of the fun things about vlogging is that I have a lot of these memories kept it's the first time I went to Malibu obviously as you guys saw I went to the Grand Californian for again for the first time I've never stayed there before got my knots pass which was really fun I recently watched Dune 2 and it was actually so good if you guys haven't watched it definitely check it out I read so many books in January I finished the first book of the Lord of the Rings series the Fellowship of the Ring I actually finished reading Normal People by Sally Rooney I'm gonna start reading One Italian Summer but I'm taking a break from Lord of the Rings because those books are long and you kind of have to for sure pay attention so I'm gonna get through those eventually but I need to get back on my book grind again as something that I'll talk about right now when in terms to my goals I did get new glasses if you guys have seen any of my older videos I have like clear glasses I've had clear glasses for years but I felt like changing it up technically I did get two they're from Warrior Parker these are the hues I got the Percy ones which are super cute these are more for at home which they do have a little glare so I might take them off in a bit just depending on if it bothers me a lot but I like them so far my prescription did change which sucked because even for my contacts my prescription changed I was like you know what perfect time to get her glasses I'm trying to see if this glare bothers me I'm probably gonna take them off really quick I'm gonna take them off at least you guys got to see them but honestly these last few months have been really fun because again it's my birthday it's like the start of the year so many things happening so it's been a good time i'm just really excited for like how things are going i will say my fitness has been on point the last few weeks that's something that i've been super super proud of so it's been a good time i honestly haven't done anything too out of the ordinary these last few months again a lot of it's on my blogs which you know it's fun when i recap because i'm like if you guys saw my vlogs, you saw it already. There's nothing really out of the ordinary. It's just been work, going to the gym, being at home, and some things here and there. So it's been a good time. I've been baking a lot. I have the Chicano Bakes recipe book. I did talk about it. I think it was in my last early 30s diaries video. I love the recipes in the book. Like the end results are always amazing. However, I'm not too big of a fan of their instructions. I kind of have to like wing some of the recipes here and there. So I've been baking a lot. From that book recently i've been making so many conchas those are my favorite they're so good so i've been baking a lot actually i've been baking like anything i can i've been baking so baking is always so fun but yeah it's been a very feel like chill few months i'm excited now that it's gonna be spring i love spring i'm in california girly i love the warmer weather it's actually been super gloomy lately it's actually raining the day that i'm filming this so love that hopefully we'll start getting into spring and summer all of that stuff so that's how my months have been it's been a good time i'm not there's like nothing i can complain about i had a great time for my birthday it's been a few months honestly i've been really happy lately so i'm very very grateful for that but now let's get into the good stuff let's get into my notion if you guys have seen any of like my past resets i usually do like a screen i'm showing you guys like literally my notion but i'm gonna do just like screenshots this time around just because i do want to have a little bit more privacy with in terms of my finances but also you'll see right now we need to start with my goals because my goals were a little rough i'm not gonna lie if you guys see my goals uh like i said i do them quarterly so is this january to march literally the first one is read my bible every night i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have not been doing that which sucks terrible a lot of these i'm just gonna keep and just switch for next quarter because i need to do that honestly i also need to read my bible every night i usually do read at least some verses like during my lunch breaks at work i do one every like morning mostly during the week which again i think once it gets to like the weekend i just like completely check out you know so i need to be more consistent on that find a freelance writing pieces again i haven't done that at all because i've actually been very busy obviously work's my first priority so everything else it just kind of falls into wayside honestly this is going to be kind of like how i failed all my goals because i don't think i did any of my goals so love that again we're being honest here we're growing read two books a month that one's kind of like 
I don't know how to explain it because obviously in January I did read a lot of books. February I only read the first Lord of the Ring book, Fellowship of the Ring, just because again it's so long and I would take so many breaks that like I was like I would just stop reading. So that one took me the whole month. So I didn't read two books in February. However, March so far I have been reading two books. I wouldn't say this one I completely failed, you know? At least I got two months in. So that one's good. Payoff credit card. This one again I, I think this one I will give myself some grace because I feel like I was overly excited about it because technically my trackers like I all the trackers I've used did say I, was, I would be paying it off in the summer but I was just being like super like oh my gosh if I pay a little bit extra like I can be done which honestly could have been possible but again it was my birthday month and literally once I get into my finances you'll see like in February I was already starting to like buy stuff for myself which is not like I'm not proud of it but you know treat yourself again I feel like I can kind of give myself grace on this because technically it wasn't even like scheduled for my tracker my financial trackers all said like I would be paying off in the summer but I was like oh my gosh you would give more which did not happen so I might give myself grace on that go out at least once a week this one I think I kind of failed again I feel like I will blame California weather for this because it's been so all over the place. There's weeks that's raining so much. There's other weeks that it's not. So I feel like I've done for sure at least gone out every other week. So again, this is like not an entirely fail, but like not perfect because I would say kind of achieved it, kind of not type of situation. I do need to be more intentional because I feel like when I get like really tired, I kind of just shut down or when I get overwhelmed, like I just shut down. So I need to like work on that, be more intentional. Run two miles a week. No, that did not happen at all. Like I barely run a mile a week because I'm trying to fo focus on my, when I do cardio days, I run a mile. But honestly, if I have to run a mile like after my other workouts, I just don't. <laughs> I'm just like bye. I need to figure out what I want to do with that. I did have buy new vlogging camera but again that one as you guys can see is for third quarter. I didn't fail that one because technically it wasn't even for this quarter so yay. For the most part I feel like for this upcoming quarter my goals are going to be the same. I am going to remove my freelance writing just because I definitely don't have time for that right now unfortunately. Read two books just because I technically am reading constantly so like I'm not worried about that one. I do have so many books on hold on Libby and hopefully a lot of them had like one week but so far nothing so I'll be fine with that one. I'm gonna remove Run Two Miles because let's be honest I do not want to do that at all. Like I'm not gonna like force myself to do something that I just generally do not enjoy. Something that I will add is gonna be focus on my nutrition. Fun fact actually I'm working on my nutrition certification through Precision Nutrition. I'm actually so close to being done which maybe I should put that as a goal be done with my nutrition goal. Actually yes I'm gonna put that Fit in my nutrition certification this upcoming quarter. I'm technically only like a few chapters away from finishing because it's like a your own go at your own pace type of course. I'm gonna put that to finish, but I'm also gonna do focus on nutrition just because I've noticed that I'm terrible at this. This is not something that I'm good at. Kind of definitely the type of person that like once I kind of go eat something, I don't know, like talkies, I'll just be like, oh screw it, I'm gonna eat everything today. And that's not good, especially cause like, uh, again, like as I'm getting older, my body's just not reacting to things the same way. Like with talkies, I love talkies, but I've noticed my body isn't handling spice the same way. The other day I had Wingstop, which I love Wingstop, I've always eaten Wingstop, but y'all, this time around, my body was not doing well with the spice, which sucks, cause again, I love spice so much. I just want to be focused on like, okay, what foods can I put into my body that are actually going to be good for me? Something also that I've been trying to do is to not do pre-workout anymore because again, I consume so much caffeine that like I want to cut down a bit. I do have a fitness Instagram down in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Every day I've gone to the gym, like I've been sharing how I've been feeling without pre-workout because there has been days that I'm like so exhausted and like just I'm pushing myself through the workout but there's other days that I've been feeling fine. So if you guys want to see kind of my process so far because again, like I want to try at least a month and see how it goes, compare my workouts for a month to like what the ones with pre-workout and just see like if there's any differences do I really need it all of that stuff so I just want to focus better on my nutrition in general just because like I want my body to feel better because I know I can obviously sense how my body's feeling there's some things that are just not feeling the same way so I want to just 
focus on that along with the bible i think i also need to journal more i haven't journaled in a while i used to journal quite often so i want to do that as well but yes i think i'm gonna leave it at that i don't want to overwhelm myself this wasn't the perfect quarter so i just want to get some things done you know so now we're getting into the big stuff the financial tracker again i'm gonna admit some things again it's like my personal stuff i don't want to like share that much you know there's some things that i should keep private this financial tracker actually is something that i need to mention about this because i had to figure this out myself i mentioned this in my notion like video like specifically on notion which if you guys don't know i am a notion partner i will have the link down below if you guys want to sign up it's completely free to sign up but i am a notion partner so if you guys use that link it will just help me out so much again it's free to you it's at no extra cost to you basically so you guys can sign up there but again i have a whole video on notion and i share like templates and all that stuff so i i did share this template with you guys and honestly i will say right now i do really really like this however something that i did have to figure this out which was not fun because i had to like google and like all that stuff the lines that already come with the template itself will automatically populate on the top yearly summary however if you add new ones they won't so you literally have to go on open and then where like either income or expenses you have to like manually add them which was something that i had to figure out because again i didn't know that like i was inputting everything and on the sidebars it was like showing them like calculated but like it wasn't showing up on the yearly summary and i was getting so annoyed but i figured out how to do that so again if you do use this one i really do like this template but that's just something to keep in mind you just have to go manually change it or manually add things every time you add like a completely new line so yes that was a little annoying january was actually a pretty decent month in terms of income again i have like my regular job so i have my regular income february i did have an adsense payment which i will share my adsense payment it was only 114 dollars and 72 cents you know not too bad this is actually my second adsense payment also the sun keeps going in and out so the sliding y'all it just keeps changing but this is actually my second adsense payments which is always exciting um, again i got my tax refunds and then march hasn't really ended again when i'm filming this so so far i've had like one of my paychecks come in but we're gonna get to expenses you'll see that february was my worst month january had like my normal expenses i have those on top but basically what i did for this is that what helped me easier because originally i had like shopping and then groceries but then it was getting like really confusing for me to be like when did i stop like calculating all of that so i literally individually put every transaction january wasn't so bad i was keeping it simple february was when it got chaotic i was eating out a lot i was buying stuff i was going everywhere february again was like when i was trying to like already like be in my birthday mode it is what it is most of the expenses like towards the end are again for like my birthday month all the stuff for disney and all of that stuff so it was definitely a busy month also i just realized that i didn't really finish putting all my stuff for march but march is honestly has been a much better month as well my birthday is march 5th so like the first week this month i haven't really been out as much i've been like home which is always nice honestly this month like after my birthday I did chill out a lot which is nice because again i don't want to like overspend do want to be wiser about my money especially again as i get older like it's just something that like it's a lot more important you realize it a lot more because then you're like okay there's like long-term things that i'm like thinking about in personal life and all of that stuff so it's definitely a lot to think about you know it's never fun adulthood you know again i just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of my finances again i always want to be transparent with you guys but also a lot of this stuff keeps me like accountable because i know that i'm like okay i want to make sure that like i'm actually in track when i like talk about it and not be like oh man i completely failed like with my goals yay so hopefully these next few months i'm gonna be a little bit more intentional all that stuff again i think it was also because like it was my birthday in like that first quarter and i knew that i was gonna just have fun but now that it's just gonna be like chilling for the next few months i feel like i'll be better you know everything's a process there's ups and downs you just gotta go with the flow but yes that is it for my reset again it's not anything out of the ordinary again this is also why i don't want to do them like monthly just because i feel like they can be a little repetitive i want to actually have updates like actual real updates to like share and how i'm feeling and all that stuff let me know down below how the first few months of the year have been treating you is there anything you've been doing lately how are you guys doing with your own goals 
anything let me know down below or let me know what you're looking forward to in the next few months honestly i'm just so excited for warm weather i thrive in warm weather i definitely want to go outside and do more hikes and walks and all that stuff so i'm so excited for that so let me know anything you guys have planned all of that stuff i would love to hear it and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't again i do all types of lifestyle videos i do a lot of vlogs i'm trying to always do something i feel like again it helps me keep accountable to like actually like get out of my comfort zone and not just be like at home like i said i have a knots pass now which at least gets me out of the house as well like i need to go and just like enjoy my past and all that stuff so hope you guys enjoyed this again let me know if you guys have any questions below anything you guys have coming up all of that fun stuff i would love to hear it and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys later bye